Strong at the YMCA. And then in addition to that, we actually um, work with Fred Hutchinson um, with the Cancer Care Alliance and do the Exercise and Thrive program. And currently we have two classes that are going on, one here at the Briggs Y um, and the other at the Downtown Olympia Y. Um, what we try to do is, you know, run them through a variety of different courses. Um, cardiovascular training, strength training, and alternative types of things that they might be able to use at home or in a park, um, different disciplines and exercise, and also to open them up to possibilities at the Y. We have um, some Tai Chi, Pilates, they, we've had a nutritionist come in, and um, um, so just exposing them to all the different possibilities of things that um, one could do. Um, it started in 2008, so they, they piloted the program um, at three different YMCA's in Seattle. And so since 2008, now I believe there are 17 different YMCA locations that run Exercise and Thrive right now. Originally, the Exercise and Thrive program was developed um, in response to a growing body of evidence uh, that physical activity can improve cancer survivors' quality of life, lessen the impact of treatment side effects, and help in their recovery. The purpose of Exercise and Thrive really is to help cancer survivors um, develop, develop an exercise regime after the program's over in their community so they can be more independent when people walk away feeling empowered by this and this community, um, that's really the goal. Um, well, I had leukemia um, about five years ago. It was sudden. Um, I went into urgent care in the afternoon. Was in the hospital that evening. So um, it was a it was quite a battle. Well, I have follicular cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that was diagnosed 12 years ago and I had chemotherapy back then and it came back um, going through my second round of chemotherapy now. I felt strong but I, I felt tired all the time, tired every day. <laughs> no matter what I did, my diet, I, was, I just felt exhausted. I have breast cancer and I felt pretty stressed out because I felt that my body was slipping away from me. Chronic pain and the normal never gets to be the same normal, it's a new normal. But that normal was really stressing me out because I couldn't uh, relate to my body image very well and I uh, was depressed and sore and because I was sore I didn't exercise. I came in with skin cancer and I felt a little bit guilty about that because skin cancer is kind of a, a non-entity. I mean, I, I was first diagnosed in 1975 and I remember going through the whole thing, oh my goodness, the big C, you know, and am I going to live, am I going to die, am I, what's going to happen? But that was 35 years ago. And I've been living with skin cancer ever since, and every six months I just go to the dermatologist. So it didn't seem like anything. But then I got to thinking, wait a minute, the basal cells aren't that big a deal. But the squamous cells can kill you. So, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe I have to admit that I do have cancer, or at least it keeps coming back, I don't have it now and that um, that puts me in the in the group. So when I came into the program, when I, I saw it on the internet actually in, the, in one of the YMCA newsletters, and I came into the program, I was feeling pretty lifeless. Um, I hadn't really been doing anything. 
Um, I knew that my strength had gone away, my endurance had gone, and I was looking at this as an opportunity to kind of get that back. I looked at the cardio ring before Live Strong and I thought, oh my gosh, you know, that does not look fun. And now I look forward to the cardio and the resistance, knowing how to do it more. I look forward to the core. And it's, so I think probably the exercise was key to me. I wasn't a, a gym rat. I enjoyed learning about the gym and getting in there and understanding everything that they had to offer. I always just assumed it was weightlifting. But they also showed us the different classes that are available, and I thoroughly enjoyed the aerobic classes. They kept me entertained, and it was fun, and the hours seemed to go really fast. It was. I came into this program, and I learned how to exercise, and I'm sore now, but I'm sore with purpose. Yeah. It was really nice, actually. Uh, the exercise, of course, all the benefits that go with that. But I also really enjoy being with a group of people who have been through some serious life experiences, um, just like I had. It was um, a feeling of not being so alone, you know, and even though we all have had different kinds of cancers, different experiences, we've all had some really heavy duty experiences and the ability to share that and understand what others are going through is, I think, really, really beneficial. <laughs> but I felt really comfortable um, opening up to everybody and discussing things that you feel sometimes your friends and your family get tired of listening to you and I know honestly in my heart that they don't but it just you feel so much more at ease talking about your problems and, and they have different ideas on how to help different areas of your life. Yeah. The group stuff in the room, talking to other people who have cancer, who have gone through the same kind of experience, that was that was good. That was good. But it was a little bit of an eye opener because I had never done that before. And I suspect that, you know, maybe nobody in the room had done that before. It's like a little support group there. You know, you got your own little uh, little gang. And that really was surprisingly positive. Nutrition surprised me quite a bit. I really enjoyed the challenges of eating four cups of fruits and vegetables a day, even as a vegetarian. That was really hard for me, and it took a lot of planning. But as I planned, it was re a reminder to me about what I was doing for my body. The nutritional it was really interesting. It was common sense, and I didn't really... It's kind of funny to think that it's become so hard to eat anymore. And, and I've been on a personal program of trying to lose weight. And I've finally come to realize all the diet foods have so many chemicals and so many additives that it's just better to eat whole foods. And, and they helped impress that on me. The, the basic whole foods were so much better for you. Uh, anytime you say free, and then you say, it's going to be at the Y, and you put Lance Armstrong into it, and it's a workout program, and all that just kind of goes together and say, hey, that's something I need to do, something I want to do. You know. Well, actually, I, I dropped my membership, and so the free membership really helped to bring me in. <laughs> the free program was a huge factor in getting me in there, and I didn't feel right you know having one more expense and when I saw the flyer and it was free I jumped at it I mean I literally called the coordinator at the Briggs Center and I phone stalked him <laughs> to get him to return my call I wanted in the program and it was free and I just knew it was something that I could proactively do for my mind and my body as opposed to showing up to chemo every day and having people do things to my body I was actually felt empowered to do something to improve my health. Do it. <laughs>